Now, the federal government has accused superannuation companies of inflating losses as nearly one million people apply to access their retirement savings early. Under the government's coronavirus hardship super scheme, struggling Australians can apply for two instalments of up to $10,000 each. But it's come with a warning that those dipping into their funds could pay a big price when it comes time to retire. Uh, for more, I'm joined by Assistant Minister for Superannuation, Senator Jane Hume. Uh, Senator, thanks for joining us. We must point out it's in the superannuation funds interest for you to keep your money there because they charge fees depending on how much you've got invested. So if you take it out, they don't earn fees. Set the record straight. How will people be affected by this? Well, David, thanks for having me this morning. Yes, you're right, around 900,000 people have already applied for about $7.5 billion of early release of their superannuation, and that's in line with government expectations. You're right, there have been some extraordinary numbers floated around both in the media and by some of the industry bodies as to what it might cost Australians to withdraw their superannuation now. We would suggest that Australians seek advice on the Money Smart website. The Money Smart website has a calculation calculated there that will let you know what mm. it will cost you to withdraw $10,000 of your super today and the assumptions on that Money Smart website are approved by ASIC. Mm. Okay, so it is our money. If you're, if you're doing it really tough in the deepest recession since the Great Depression, you want money. So it's easy to, to tap into your superannuation. You should do it. But then when things get better, put extra uh, contributions in and make up for it. And, and that should be fine, shouldn't it? Well, that's exactly right. We would suggest that $10,000 today, each one of those 900,000 people that have accessed their super already, behind each one of those 900,000 people is a story of financial distress. Yeah. And for many of those people, I'm sure they understand that there is a trade-off. If you take money out of super today, you know, you remove the magic of compounding that builds that nest egg over time. But for many people, it's urgent today. And the trade-off, of course, is that, you know, Otherwise, they might have to take out a personal loan or sell their car or take out some credit card debt. So the, it may well be in the benefit of people today to take yeah. out their money today rather than lock it up for the future. Yep, and then pay it And of back. course, you're right. You can always pay contribute back. down the track. And this government has, uh, has introduced policies that will allow people to yep. make catch-up contributions right. in the future when they're able Senator, to do so. Thank you for that. Here's Sam.